Hello and welcome to Get the Word in Your Face International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you again with a word from the Lord. You know, I just heard this a moment ago and I want to be sure that I clarified something about what I heard, you know. Uh, I, you know, out of all my teachings that I've posted, I don't want anyone to think that you paid for your way into heaven. <laughs> you cannot pay your way into eternal life. You cannot pay your way by changing your character. You know, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. The way that leads to the Father. The way that leads to life. It's through Him that we have access into the heaven. It's by Him that we have access to God. We can, you know, without Him, we're going to be cast into judgment and thrown into the lake of fire, which we know is below God, <laughs> is nowhere near Him. We said yes to Christ. But most of my messages, they're about our weaknesses and they're about our fears and our troubles and our doubts and everything that does not reveal the promise that God has made for us. We are to grow up in Christ. Why do I talk about these things? Because it's the proof that you are a child of God. It's the proof that you are the child. You are a child of God. You change. Your nature changes. The way you used to live, you don't live like that anymore. The way you used to think, you don't think like that anymore. You're, you're changing your mind about the, the way you used to be, what you used to believe, who you used to trust in, who you used to rely on and lean on. Even the earthly pleasures that you once took delight in, you no longer delight in those sinful things anymore. And, and everything in itself is not sin for us right? Everything is, uh, what does the scripture say now? Everything is permissible for me, but not everything is beneficial. You know, that's scripture. And those things that aren't beneficial that would be a stumbling block for us, we put out of our lives. Hebrews chapter 12, again, talks about taking off every weight. I like it how it says it in the King James. It says weight and sin. It doesn't combine the two. One, weight can, the weight can drag you, drag you into sin. The weight can be grief and sorrow. Jesus took grief and sorrow out of you. He took it away from you. And we're learning how to agree with God about our lives. That if Jesus, if God gave me peace, then he gives me peace. He says whatever I ask for is going to be given to me if I ask in the name of Jesus Christ. If I ask in the name of Jesus, what I need will be given to me. Because it's on the mind of the Father that I have what I need. When it comes to peace, we seize our peace. We have to understand the weapons that are formed against us. That are trying to deceive us and keep us in the flesh. Rather than keeping us walking after God. We're in a continual state of laying down my thoughts and my feelings and, and, and how I'm looking at the situation and circumstance for how God thinks about it and how what he wants to bring out of that situation and circumstance. We're in a constant state of growth. We're not living, sitting here looking at the cross. We are living to go beyond the cross. We're looking to be heavenly minded. Because to be heavenly minded is life and peace. It's what the, the very thing that God our Father wants us to have. And at the same time, Hebrews chapter 12 again, we need to be reminded to keep our mind on Jesus. Because if we don't, we're going to get weary in our well-doing. If we're going to get weary and, and the weights will just get weightier. He didn't give you the weight. In fact, Isaiah chapter 61, is it? That says, he's given us a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Garment of praise, spirit of heaviness. 
So we learn to worship him. And it, I mean, the more you do, you grow. You grow from glory to glory. You grow up in Christ better and better, more and more. Christ paid for your life and you belong to him. There is no, no weapon that it's formed against you that can absolutely prosper. It cannot prosper at all. But we have to recognize when fear comes knocking on the door and when anxiety comes, when the tears start flowing, that the one we're leaning on is the one who created us, the one who made a promise to keep our heart and mind in perfect peace, the one that said he would comfort our hearts and minds, the one who says he heals the brokenhearted, the one who's it, who is the healer, Jehovah Rapha. He heals us. He is healed. As what does it say now? By his stripes, we were healed at the cross. <laughs> Let's say it just like that. It was said before the foundation of the world that Jesus would be sent and he would, he would you know, be the, what, is, what did Jesus say now? Uh, I come to give you life and life more abundantly. He says, uh, don't be... Don't allow your heart to be overcharged with the cares of this life. Here's my peace. I leave it with you. Here's my, my, my peace. I give it to you. There's a change in us. That's what I'm concerned about. I won't go on and on and on and on. But there's a change in our heart and mind. That's what I'm concerned about. When I don't see this, these changes and, and how we would... Here's another one. Living in love with our brothers and sisters. Forgiving one another. It's a nature of God. When I don't see these things happening in our lives, it bothers me. And it makes me think, are we really His? I want us to be absolutely His. Yes, we signed up and we, we said yes, but uh, Jesus said there's going to be plenty of people who think they did something for me and I'm going to have to tell them you never knew me away from me he tells them to get away from him you evil doers because they didn't have a relationship with the living God when we have a relationship with the Lord we get to know him he's getting to know us because we're trusting him leaning trusting in him leaning on him rolling every care on him and waiting to hear his voice, his instruction. We're looking for his instruction. Yeah, I know we want things to change and we want to fix this and fix that and we want to do this, get this person right, right now. But the Lord is saying, come, rest, lean on me, rely on me. I'm going to show you the way. And he gives us little bits and pieces sometimes and we have to take that little bit and piece that word that he gave us and walk in it live when i say walk in it i mean live in it get it in your heart and on your mind to be merciful with those who are not merciful be merciful because i am merciful do you see this world and do you see the condition of it don't get angry because a husband or a wife or a child stepped on your toes. God deals with the whole world rejecting him. And yet we're supposed to be the ones that are conformed to the image of God, image of his son. Living light in this world, salty in this world, flavorful. We're supposed to look like Jesus and the kingdom have come. <laughs> We're supposed to be living our lives for Christ and the kingdom. And the kingdom comes out of us. Because, and people can see all this goodness of God in our lives. But if we're all hardened in our heart. Beating on the same drum over and over and over again. About this thing and that thing and the other thing. And we can't never seem to get over the past. Which Jesus, by the way dissolved all of that there's no more sin there's no more sorrow there's no more there's no more heaviness for us because we're in Christ all of our cares can be cast on the Lord he cares for us and he wants us he wants to help us walk out our soul salvation he we've got help 
I know I get excited about all of this. I get passionate about how we live in God through Christ. How we allow the Spirit of God to lead us and, and guide us. Because if we are going to be caught up in the air with Christ, and we know it, something about our lives has changed. Yet Jesus paid for our life in full. And we have access to the Father through Christ. He is the one that's made us right with God. Everything we need is in Christ. Everything we need is through Him. Everything we need is in Him. Everything that we need. It, God already did everything we need and we have it. We're just so frustrated and confused. That. So I just want to make sure that we are really his children and that we're growing up in Christ and that we're walking our life out in the nature of God, having patience, being humble, being meek, be, being uh, of self-control, having self-control. You didn't have to say that. You didn't have to do that. You're trusting the Lord and you're waiting on Him and He's leading and guiding you and instructing you in the day and in the night. You know how you know you're His? Because the Spirit of God bears witness with our spirit that we are a child of God. We're no longer hooked to this yoke of, the sl yoke of slavery anymore. Slavery to the flesh. Slavery to how I feel every single day. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. The word of God is my light and is my salvation. The Lord's words that he has spoken onto the, onto the pages of this book, they, they enlighten my heart and mind and give me light in the day and light in the night. <laughs> Can I say it like that? Well, I did. The Lord loves you. Keep yourselves in the love of God. Know what he said. Get the word in your face and grow up in him. Know that you have a relationship. See the nature of God in you. That nature is forgiving and that nature is loving and that nature is care. Even when it's hard. We come to him for everything and he, I'm telling you, if we've sinned, he, forgive us, he forgives us of our sins and cleanses us from our filthiness when we come to him. And say it. We come to him and say, look, Father, I messed up again. Please forgive me my sins. I'm saying it my way. And cleanse me from my filthiness so I don't come back to this again. Cleanse me from my filthiness. It's the best thing you could ever ask the Father because he's sure going to come in with that word and remind you of all truth. This is the relationship. He loves you so much. He's going to cleanse you. He's going to wash you. What did Jesus say in Ephesians chapter 5 and 25? He came for his bride, his wife, so he could cleanse her and wash her with the washing of the water by the word. We're in, a, in a, such a relationship. I'm telling you, I never want to get out of it. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Seek Jesus. Seek peace. Pursue peace with everybody. Even if they don't like you, even if they don't want you around, you can still smile. <laughs> you still have peace, no matter what people do. Because that peace is going to change lives. And you don't know whose life it's going to change today. Well, that's all. I just kind of wanted to come in and clear up this thing. I'm not ever telling anybody that you pay for your your entrance into heaven. You don't. Christ paid for your life. But we have proof that we are his. We have proof that we're the children of God. Right there in our own being. Because there's just things that we don't want anymore. And there's things we don't do anymore. There's a nature in us. A divine nature. It isn't just self-control. It isn't just, you know... I'm, I'm just cutting this off and I don't do it anymore. It's not a diet. <laughs> it's love. Pure love. 
pure love. Pure love the Father has for you and the pure love you have for him. And in this, you're patiently listening to the sound of his voice, wanting to come closer and closer, higher and higher, until the grace of God is all you're walking in, all, all that he is is what you're walking in, in your heart and in your mind. You can do all things through Christ, who is the strength of your life. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson. I get the word in your face international. Get the word in your face. Love God because he loves you and he's going to keep you in perfect peace. Because your mind is stayed on him. He is your life. Bye-bye.